Hey y'all, happy Saturday, happy Saturday. Um, I hope everybody's having a really, really, really good um, weekend or start to the weekend actually. It is like beautiful here in Massachusetts. And um, so I wanted to come on real quick and do a video. So I'm recording, I'm pre-recording this rather than doing the live because I just feel like, you know, I might have some issues with folks calling in like they did before which was funny. So I wanted to come on and just say thank you so much for all of the feedback that y'all gave me from my last um, video about the sugar scrub, uh, the, the coffee sugar scrub that I had um, shared with you guys. And I've gotten so much positive feedback from you guys who have tried it and you love it and it's working for you. And that just, that just makes me so happy to hear um, that it's working. So I wanted to come back on and give you guys another little sugar scrub recipe um, that's from also one of my favorites as, as always and um, so I wanted to say two things so if you're using the sugar scrub from before I've had some questions about um, just making it in general so you can make the sugar scrub obviously without the coffee if you don't want the coffee because um, some of you had uh, messaged me and was like oh I don't really like the coffee um, smell so obviously you can make without the coffee, you're gonna make the base the same, right? You're gonna have the um, sugar, um, and then you're gonna add your olive oil, and then you're gonna add your vitamin E. And you can leave it at that and just be done. Um, sorry, y'all see this big scarf? I'm so sorry, it's cold in my house, um, it's cold. But anyway, you can you can leave it at that and that's that's it. If you wanted to add some essential oils, you could, you could right? So whatever your favorite essential oils are, you could add that. Um, you know, I typically like some woodsy smells, so I'll add um, like sandalwood or patchouli, but you can make it with whatever essential oils that you want, right? Whatever your favorite, you know, really customize it for you. And that's it, that's, that's it. But for today's recipe, um, I wanted to show you guys a sugar scrub recipe for your lips, okay? Now, I don't know if you've ever tried a sugar scrub recipe for your lips, but if you haven't, you're gonna love, you're gonna love, love, love this. Now, why a sugar scrub for your lips? Well, because, you know, most of us don't exfoliate our lips at all, really. You know, we go out in the sun a lot, we've been enjoying the weather. You know, lips get your lips get dry, sometimes they get cracked, and we tend to just like cover it up with a lip balm or something like that, thinking that's gonna do it. Um, and it, it may, but at the same time, you should really exfoliate your lips a little bit. And more importantly, you know, again, if you're out in the sun a lot, or, you know, as we get a little older, um, the coloration in our lips starts to change. I like to say tan. Some people say your lips get dark, but I just like to say your lips get a little tan. So we're gonna do a sugar scrub to help you with that tan, um, and then also also just to help nourish and moisturize your lips. So as we're making this, just keep in mind, you don't have to use this sugar scrub two and three times like you would for your body, right? The body scrub that, that you guys are using, do that at least two or three times a week. But for your lips, I would say maybe once. Uh, once, maybe twice a week. So let's say you do it on Sunday and then you don't do it again until, I don't know, Thursday, something like that. Like give yourself a couple of days. So let's get into it. now. Y'all know I like to start with things that you already have in your house. I like to keep it simple and I like to keep the um, recipes pretty straightforward. So let me show you what you're gonna need. You're gonna need um, brown sugar, um, preferably organic brown sugar. You are going to need some honey, okay? You are going to need some cinnamon, okay? And then you're also going to need some olive oil. This is my big Y, olive oil, right? Olive oil. Now. If you um, want to make it without olive oil, I personally like to also use um, coconut oil too, preferably organic if you have it. But if you don't have coconut oil, olive oil, like I said, works just fine. Um, I like coconut oil because it's just more nourishing. It's got more vitamins and things like that. Um, but the downside of coconut oil is, as you can see, hopefully you can see that um, when it gets cold, this is how I knew it was time to put on a scarf, when my heat kicked on and when my coconut oil starts to solidify, you know it's getting cold. Because otherwise, this would be liquid, right? If the temperature was warm, this would be liquid. So um, you can use the coconut oil, just know that it's gonna be a little thick. So if you don't like that, especially as it's getting cooler, depending on where you live, the olive oil is gonna be just fine. So let's get into it. What you're gonna do is, you're just gonna take two tablespoons of brown sugar. 
gonna try to do this without making a mess. Okay, two tablespoons. Now, why brown sugar? Because brown sugar is actually, um, it's gonna be softer and not as abrasive for your lips, which is what you want, right? You want it, because the skin on your lips is really delicate. So that's why you're gonna use brown sugar. Now, you might say, Dana, look, girl, I don't have brown sugar. I mean, I do, but it's like, you know, it's in that hard clump, because I haven't used it in a long time. And thing. Use your white granulated sugar. But the next time you out at the grocery store, just remember, do a little, little reminder on your phone to get that brown sugar, okay? So the next thing you're gonna add to that is um, about a fourth of um, cinnamon. Now, why cinnamon? Cinnamon is actually gonna help with that tan or darkness. And cinnamon actually, oh, that's a little, that's too much. Um, cinnamon is actually going to stimulate the, um, your, your um, the blood flow in your lips a little bit to plump them up, right? So you can get that plumpness and you'll feel it a little bit in your lips, okay? So you're gonna add a fourth uh, tablespoon of cinnamon. Then I always like to add a little bit of vitamin E um, because vitamin E is just gonna be nourishing. I just do one capsule. So it's nourishing, you know, it's really gonna take care of um, your lips, right? And provide, provide them with some good moisture and protection. Okay, and then you're gonna do, um, I usually do about a fourth tablespoon of um, honey also. Okay, just a little bit. I don't know if y'all can see that. Just a little dollop. You don't need a lot, just a little bit. Now, um, I'm gonna make this with olive oil because I'm not gonna do the coconut oil, like I said, because it'll be a little thick, okay? So you're also gonna add um, a teaspoon of coconut oil. Okay. Oh Lord, I'm making a mess. Yeah. Okay. Now, the last thing that I like to do, especially for my lips, um, you know, my lips get a little tan, and I've noticed as I've gotten older, they're getting a little more tan, a little more tanner, darker. They're getting darker in a nutshell. Um, you can do one of two things. You can either add some, like four or five drops of lemon essential oil, but you might say, listen, I, I don't have that in my house. I don't got no, no lemon essential oil. That's fine, ain't no thing. I know you got lemons in your house. Everybody got lemons, right? You was gonna make that dish. You was gonna, I don't know, put it on the side with that fish. Who knows? Um, and it's starting to go bad. It's starting to get a little hard. Use them up, okay? So what you're gonna do is just take a little lemon wedge. Just a little bit. All you need is one, and actually that's quite a lot. But just squeeze a little bit of lemon in there, okay? And you don't need a lot. Now, why lemon? We've already talked about it. Lemon's gonna help with the darkness, right? Lemon's gonna help um, to lighten the lips a little bit. And lemon is an actual um, natural bleach, if you will, okay? So you're just gonna stir that in really, 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 really well. And that is it, it is that simple. You only use, you know, just a few ingredients. Like I said, I know you got this in your house right now, and that's it, you guys. So let me show you, ooh, I don't know if you can see. Okay, so you see that? And it's kind of, you know, it's kind of like a, thick little paste. You know, you can thicken it up a little more, which is again why I like to use the coconut oil because as it um, solidifies, especially in the winter time, the trick to this is you're going to like really massage it into your lips. But then especially if you need to lighten them and you put that lemon in there, you don't have to do lemon, but if you have an issue with um, dark lips, do the lemon. And what you wanna do is let it sit on your lips for, I usually let it sit for a good three minutes right and that's where that coconut oil is going to come in to play because it's going to be thick and just like sit on your lip it'll melt a little bit um from your body heat but it'll just sit on your lips and then when you're done you just take um you know a paper towel or something like that if you don't want to get your um face towels um all messed up but just take a little towel wipe it off like dab it off and then follow with um, your favorite lip balm and I'm telling you, you guys, it is so simple, but especially when you add that um, cinnamon and that lemon in there, you're gonna start to see, give it a couple of weeks, but you are going to see um, some improvements, especially in the coloring of your lips. You're gonna get, the lips are gonna lighten a little bit. You, you know, you're gonna start seeing that like pink, healthy glow to your lips. Um, if you wanna add a little more cin cinnamon, you can. Um, the other th little thing I will say to this is, um, you can also do a little cayenne pepper. Like if you wanna plump up the lips, you can add just a little cayenne pepper, but disclaimer, obviously cayenne pepper is hunt. So you just wanna be very careful about 
you know, how you add it and use it. But that cayenne pepper, you talk about really stimulating and plumping up your lips. Um, for those of you who use those um, lip balms, those lip, lip plumpers, they're basically made with a synthetic cayenne pepper, right? To stimulate blood flow to make your lips pop. So you could also do that. So if you want to do this scrub, like maybe right before you was getting ready to go out to dinner or a hot date or something like that, and you wanted them lips to be a little plump before you started doing your thing with your lipstick, lip gloss, whatever, add a little cayenne pepper to it. Let me know. Let me know how that works out for you. Um, so that's it, you guys. That is the recipe. I hope you try it. Um, leave me some love. Show me some feedback. Let me know how it worked for you. And I hope you guys have a great, great, great weekend. And I will see you soon.